Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a sneaker collection haul. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is obviously showing you the shoe, but then either here or here, I'm going to include the price that you can get the sneaker at now. So for reference, I'm a size 5 in men and kids, and I'm a size 7 in women's, but sometimes I get like a 7.5 or sometimes I get a 6.5, but usually a 7. So with that being said, let's just get right into the video. So the first sneaker I have here is just the Finet 3.0 in South Beach. So I got these in a size 7 and I just absolutely love them. Like this is the most colorful shoe I have and it's just like, look how pretty. Like, <laughs> So yeah, these are just my favorite. Shout out to my boo for buying me these because I probably wouldn't have bought them. Like if he wouldn't have bought them for me because, you know, I really just only be wearing black sneakers. So shout out to him. The next sneaker I have here is just another pair of Vapor Maxes. So these are the Vapor Max Mock and Light Cream. And I got these at Macy's. And I was like so excited when I got these because I went for a whole different shoe. And like these were like on the rack. And like some woman was trying them on. And I looked and I was like, yeah, I need those. And I bought them. And they're messed up. I wore them for work. So they don't look that cute. So the next sneaker I have here is a Nike React 55 in triple black. And these, I got a size five and a half. This is the second pair that I bought. The first pair was the same exact color, but in five. And I don't know, but the toe box is so small. Like I'm usually a five in men and kids, but I couldn't do like a size five. Like I needed a size five and a half. And um, yeah, if you want a size five and a half, they don't actually have them on GOAT or StockX by the time I'm making this video um but they do have like size five um size six and you can do like a size six honestly if you're like a true size five and a half i would even go up if you're a size five like me you could get a size five um they're not as uncomfortable if you wear thin socks but you should get a six so obviously the first pair of sneakers is like nike i also own a pair of black and white cortezes but my mom put them in a box to send to the arm if you're dominican or hispanic or caribbean like you know so and i wasn't gonna go digging in no box for no sneakers so whenever i get them i get them but just know that's also a part of my collection so the next pair of sneakers i have here i was fiending for like fiending for so i wasn't really into sneakers when i was in high school so when these came out like i didn't even know and i probably wouldn't have honestly bought them but I remember like every girl came in wearing them and I was like, I need those. And I just never, again, I wasn't into sneakers, so I just never bought them. But I bought them this year and I am so happy that I did. Like, say what you want, but I think this is one of the best um, pair of Jordans that ever came out. If not the best pair of Jordans, one of the best colorways. But these are just the Air Jordan um, 7s, Bordox board 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 i don't know i don't know what they're called but i got these in a size five and i got these on go um yeah honestly i kind of did with a size four and a half i'm not gonna lie like honestly there's just a lot of room in them i guess there's just the material like how it's made but i could have went down like honestly they fit me fine but i think they would have fit me a little bit more better in a four and a half so the next sneaker I have here is a Jordan 3 Black Cement. Um, and I guess it's funny story, not really funny. I never liked 3s and I never liked like the elephant print. It just wasn't my vibe. And I don't know what came to me, but like this year I'm like, yo, I need those. Like I need to have these in my collection. So I bought them and I don't regret them because I wear these everywhere with everything. I bought these in a size five and I could have went to a size five and a half because I can wear these and they're really comfortable with thin socks. But if I'm wearing like Nike socks, they're just a little bit too tight. So I definitely could have went five and a half, but I got these off stadium goods. So obviously I couldn't like return them. But yeah. So the next sneaker I have is the Jordan 14 um these is called last shot and when these came out 
I was fiending for them and I just didn't get them because I don't like this cut right here. Like that's probably the only things I don't like in 14. That cut is so just awkward to me. I also got these in a size five and they fit me perfectly fine. I don't have to go up or down. So then the next sneaker I have is the um, Storm Blue ones. And I bought these on Goat. These are a size five. Um, ones always fit me perfect as a size five like i don't need to go up or down and again like these i was fiending for but i was not into sneakers but these were like i needed these like <laughs> bro i needed them and this was like the first pair of sneaker i ever purchased off of goat and yeah these go for 700 right now like i was looking at my size to make this video and i was like 700 like I paid $250. So for somebody to pay $700, I was like, nah, that's crazy. Like, I would pay $700 for sneakers, but not, not for these. Just, you know, I don't feel like they worth it. So the next sneakers I have are like my favorite. They're my last purchase, and these are my babies. Like, I, oh, bro, okay. So these are the Olivia Kim Jordan 4. And basically, they look just like the black cat. They were based on the black cat, but she just added like the fur on it. It is real fur. Basically, I really wanted the black cat for us, and then I seen these, and I was like, okay, well, these is like the black cats, but better. So I bought them, and I love them. And I only wear them twice because they are fur, and I feel like if they get a li even a little bit messed up, like it's not gonna look good so but i tried on fours before in um store and a seven was just way too big so i got them a six and a half and they fit perfect so the next sneaker that i have is the um 350 sesame yeezys yes that's a stain no i didn't clean it out because i'm the worst at cleaning sneakers and i just don't do it don't ask me why because i don't know um but i bought these and these i bought for retail and foot locker and they sat on the shelf for like two weeks well i got them two weeks after they came out so i don't even know how long it really sat on the shelf but like these go for bread now i'm like and obviously like i'm not surprised when i say like how much they go for because i know how the sneaker community is how sneakers go it's just like sometimes like when you see how much you pay for a sneaker and you see how much it goes for you're kind of like you know, if I didn't buy them at that point, it would have been over. I would have had to pay hundreds of more dollars for them. So I'd just be surprised at the fact that like I got them for retail or for a good price because I would have been dread having to pay like, I don't even know how much it goes for. I forgot like 400, 500, something like that. Yeah. So I'm just including these because they're Yeezys. Obviously they're not sneakers, but I figured I would just include them. So this is the Yeezy slides in resin. Um, I bought these the wrong size. <laughs> if you know me, I buy the wrong size and everything. And, like, I will not go return it. Like, for some reason, I will not go return it. I will not go sell it to get a better size. I would just keep it and just be tight. Like, that's just what I do. I don't know. Um, but these, I bought a size 5 because, obviously, I buy my shoes a size 5. And they didn't have a, they don't come in half sizes. So, I bought them a 5. And they, like, if I don't have socks on, they fit me, like, perfect like perfect right there but if i do have socks on like I, I really can't even wear them because i'll just be tripping and falling and it'd it be it'd be serious so i should have got them in the six i probably should have sold them and you know then rebought them but i was like nah, nah, nah. and now i'm tight because i can only wear them like in the summer and i don't really like wearing them in the summer so so the next thing i have i don't know why i bought <laughs> um they weren't all that to me if i'm being completely honest i like i haven't worn them because they just aren't all that to me i just they're really just sitting right now but this is the quantum yeezys i mean i bought them a size five i got them on adidas confirmed um i mean like literally like i could lick the bottom if i wanted to like that clean but yeah they're cute i wouldn't say they're for me this is the lifestyle version by the way i wouldn't say that they're for me to be honest because like they're bulky and i don't like when shoes look big on me and so i don't know i kind of just have them I don't know. 
honestly like waste the money but there you go so then the next sneaker i have everybody and their mama got bought them the wrong size per usual so i got these a seven because and this is the reason why i went to i went to the cdg store in new york right went to the store and i tried them on it wasn't like i ordered them no i went to the store tried them on i had like nike socks right and i like the six and a half was just six or six and a half was too tight why because the socks were thick so i'm like okay i tried these on they were roomier so i'm like okay well i'm just gonna get a seven and they're like they're not super big on me they don't look really big on me but they feel just roomier and i should have got a six or six and a half but again why i didn't return them i don't know so like i've literally worn them twice and they're just there again i don't what somebody gotta teach me to get my right size and if i don't get the wrong size to return it and get the right size but so the next two sneakers i'm gonna show you i just have for sentimental value it's not like i don't really wear them um but these um so I, <laughs> they're the shadow um ones and so the only reason i really have well okay like they're bad like i beat them up like i really like wore them and i didn't clean them i didn't iron the front they're they're done for um but i still have them because they're the first sneaker they're the first jordan that i've ever bought with my own money again like i've never been a sneaker person so i feel like i should keep them you know just as like a damn they beat up just like a um sentimental like ugh. like i don't know like i wish i would have kept these in good condition these are nice like but life happens next sneakers um are also for sentimental value basically a friend in high school had bought me these so these were my first um pair of jordans on a number line i've ever had so they bought me the first pair and these are them these are the oh god what are these called take flight eight um yeah they have like orange in the bottom so basically i got these a, a six and a half because i didn't know my size and basically i got confused like i knew i was a seven in women so i'm like okay well it's a it's a different kind of sneaker so let me get like a six and a half not knowing that like kids and men is a thing i was just very confused and so these are a six and a half could they have returned them and you know got me my size yes but did i ask them to no why because i'm dumb <laughs> And I actually really like them, so I'm really mad they're not my size, but I still have them, obviously, because sentimental value, you know, I kind of want to keep these and then look back and be like, oh, like, these were the first sneakers I had, like, well, from Jordan on the Jordan line, Jordan number line, and yeah. I did get a pretty good use out of them, though, because I didn't care when I got them. I was like, okay, well, I really like them, and it was a gift, so I might as well put them on. And I did, but then at some point it was like, nah, they're just too big. Like, I can't keep, like, trying to make it look cute. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll just take some pictures. They don't look that bad, but they feel like I just can't wear them. So, so this is the end of my video. I do have bands, but I'm not going to show you bands because they're bands and, like, who cares? Um, but, yeah, so this is the end. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. Bye.